you guys how to add text um, in your images so as you can see I don't have anything in my timeline right now so I'm going to my project panel and I'm gonna look for some footage here um, here's a nice shot of someone walking on the beach that's why you see it up here in the source panel and I'm just gonna choose the whole thing for now and I don't need the audio so I'm just gonna grab the video I'm gonna drag it down now you notice it didn't ask me anything about like the clip matching the um, sequence. That's because this clip um, happens to be uh, 720 by 1280. Um, usually it's uh, yeah 720 by 1080, and the sequence is also the same. So whenever those two match, uh, you won't be asked if you want to make to uh, change the sequence settings. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring some music in here. I'll listen to it quick and see if I like it. Yeah, sounds all right. Sorry if you're not hearing anything. It's because my speakers aren't connected. But anyway, I'm going to drag that down there, and I'll worry about trimming it later. So now to add text, um, it's pretty simple. You just go down here and grab the T tool for type, and you click on you know, the space. And once you have that, you can go under Effect Controls and you can go to Text. And here's where you can control colors, font types, you know, and all of that. Um, but you have to actually be on it. So I'm going to go with, let's see, I'm going to go with a Arial Black. It tends to be a thicker font. Um, for just for starters, I'll go with white. And I'll just call this, you know, Sandy Beach. Okay, um, you'll notice that when I typed, it kind of has a little bit of a shadow behind it, and that's because this is checked. If I took that off, that would go away, but I kind of like the shadow. Um, stroke, that basically is an outline, so if I was to change that to like black, you would see it more. Okay, and then I can change the size of it, and um, oh, it didn't it didn't change the color hold on a second that's why you don't see it so okay gotta make that black okay it's not changing it so let's see what I'm doing wrong here oh it might be because I don't have it highlighted let's see if that's it yeah that was it <clears throat> so anyway with the font you can uh, the stroke you can make it bigger smaller whatever you need to Okay, and like I said, um, if you ever want to make changes, like you saw, I was having trouble with stroke, whatever, you just got to make sure that the text is selected. Um, you can change the size right here. Okay, you can change the position a couple different ways. You can go like this under um, under under um, position. Okay, um, you can grab this pointer and you can move it around or whatever. The last thing on text, if you want to change the color, um, and by the way, here's the text right here. So wherever you put that is where the text will show up. Um, and so, wait, wait, one more thing I was going to show you. Oh, um, you can make the text um, longer, shorter by just dragging here. You can make it dissolve in and out by doing a right click and do a apply default which happens to be a dissolve in and dissolve out so then it kind of looks like that it just doesn't come in so abrupt um, and then fades away okay so that's really um, the basics I mean I would encourage you to play with some other things if you get under text don't be afraid um, like you'll look down here obviously scales there um, there's like I believe this one is rotation. Um, oh, that <clears throat> that's affecting the shadow. Never mind. Um, here, down here. So um, rotation, you can have the text, you know, move um, to rotate to a certain position. Um, you just just play with these things, and I'm going to reset it. By the way, um, but like opacity, that's if you want it to be lighter okay. 
But like I said, I could talk all day. You know, you could just practice with those different tools. Um, that's about it.